The Galaxy S26 Ultra is already getting a lot of attention months before its launch, and the main reason is its new camera bump. At first, some people might wonder why Samsung made the bump bigger, even though the phone is using the same camera, sensors as last year's Galaxy S25 Ultra, but there's actually a good reason for this change, and today, we're going to break it down. Let's start with the bump itself. A well-known tipster, Universus, shared that the Galaxy S26 Ultra's camera bump is about 4.5mm thick. To give you an idea, last year's Galaxy S25 Ultra had a bump of just a point for millimeters. On paper, that may not sound like a huge difference, but when you hold the phone, you'll definitely notice it dot. So why did Samsung make the bump bigger without adding larger sensors? The answer comes down to two main changes, the slimmer body of the phone and the wider camera lenses. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is designed to be 7.9mm thin, while the Galaxy S25 Ultra was 8.2mm. By making the phone thinner, the camera module now sticks out more so the new lenses can fit inside. The lenses are where the big improvements come in. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is expected to have a 200 megapixel main camera with optical image stabilization and a bright f1 point for aperture. Alongside it, there will be a 50 megapixel ultra wide camera with autofocus, a 12 megapixel telephoto camera with an f2 point for aperture, and another 50 megapixel telephoto with f2.9 aperture, the optical image stabilization. The most important upgrade is the wider aperture in the main and telephoto cameras. A wider aperture allows more light to reach the sensor. This means photos will be brighter, clearer, and sharper, especially in low light conditions. Night photography should improve a lot, and pictures in difficult lighting should have less noise and more detail. So, even though Samsung hasn't added larger sensors, the lens design changes will make a real difference in photo quality. Of course, hardware is only half the story. Samsung is pairing these cameras with a faster processor. This new chip can handle the extra data from the upgraded lenses, which means sharper photos and smoother video recording. On the front, though, it looks like Samsung is keeping the same 12 megapixel selfie camera for the whole Galaxy S26 series. Now let's talk about the size and weight of the phone. Even though the S26 Ultra is thinner, it won't feel much lighter. Reports say it will weigh 217 grams, while the Galaxy S25 Ultra weighed 218 grams. That's just a 1 gram difference, which no one will really notice. Why didn't Samsung reduce the weight more? The reason is simple. The Ultra series is built to include everything Samsung can offer top cameras, the most powerful chipset, plenty of memory and storage, and of course, the S Pen, as long as the S Pen is included, Samsung doesn't have much room to cut down on weight. Unless Samsung ever decides to remove the S Pen completely, which doesn't seem likely, the Ultra phones will probably stay around the same weight. Dot moving on to the display, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is expected to have a huge 6.9 inch dynamic AMOLED to X screen. It will support a 120Hz refresh rate, HDR10, and a new screen privacy feature. This feature will make it harder for people nearby to glance at your screen. Samsung is known for its amazing displays, and this one should keep that reputation strong. For power, the phone will have a 5,000 mAh battery the same size as before but now with faster 60W charging. That's an upgrade over the S25 Ultra and should help charge the phone much faster. What's not confirmed yet is if Samsung will add the new chat to wireless charging standard with magnets, similar to Apple's MagSafe. If it does, that would be great news for people who like wireless charging. Dot to wrap it all up, the Galaxy S26 Ultra may not bring brand new sensors, but the changes are still important. The bigger camera bump makes sense because it fits the wider aperture lenses, which will help capture better photos and videos. The phone is thinner, slightly lighter, has a better display, faster charging, and overall stronger performance. Samsung isn't reinventing the Ultra this year, but instead refining it. And for anyone who wants the very best Samsung phone, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is shaping up to be a very solid upgrade.